Italian Football Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another interview episode of the Italian Football Podcast. I'm Carlo Garganesi, and I'm really excited about today's guest. I've been telling everyone on the podcast about this young player since the start of the season and, and what a great young talent he is. So it's, it's amazing to have him on our show. For me, he's, uh, he's Italy's top teenager right now. He plays for Udinese and the Italy under-21 national team. He is, of course, Destiny Udogi. Destiny, thank you so much for, for coming onto the show. How, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks for you. Thanks for you for having me. I feel good and everything is okay. Well, hi, Destiny. This is Nima, and thanks again for joining us. Um, so to start with, you joined Udinese from Hellas Verona last summer. Um, how are you enjoying your first season in Udine? Yeah, I have to say it's going very good, because obviously because I'm playing, so it's going better. And I feel very comfortable in this team. It's a great team, very great people. Everybody, they're so nice to me, and I feel very good. Um, ten years ago, Udinese were one of the best teams in the Serie A. They had fantastic young players, Alexis Sanchez, Benatia, Inler, Isla, Samoa, etc. And now Udinese, Udinese is returning to that model with, with young talent like yourself. Um, do you think Udinese are one of the teams to watch in the next, coming, next few coming years because of this? I think yes, because it's a, it's a, it's a team that they look to young players and they're very good in it. They have good scouting and, uh, yeah, I think in some years, Udinese is going to be a very interesting, interesting team. Um, Deo Lofeo and Beto uh, have formed one of the best attacks in the Serie A this season. Um, how, how good are these guys and what's it like defending uh, against them in training? No, De Lofeo and Beto are very, very good because, um, of course, De Lofeo, one v one is very, it's very good. <laughs> Difficult to, to take a lead, to take the ball, and he's very confident in these skills. And Beto also in the open pitch is, uh, I think, one of the best strikers in doing that. He's very, he have a very facility of running, and he's very good, very good player. For sure. Um, just a question on uh, Nahuel Molina. Um, he's been amazing at right back this season. In fact, he's one of the highest scoring, uh, one of the most, he is, he is the highest scoring fullback in Europe. I read somewhere, I'm not entirely sure where, but yeah, I read somewhere that. I mean, just how good is he and how far do you think he can go in the game? All right, Molina, I think he's one of the best right backs, one of the best in his position. You have crazy numbers, very good in attacking, finishing. Put it cross also, and I think he can go very far, very far in his career. Okay, let, let's talk a little bit about you when you were growing up. Um, I've read that your favourite team as a kid was was Milan. Is that is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up watching Milan. Very, uh, very small fan. Small fan. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first memory? I mean, did you have a, like a, a first memory you remember of watching them? On, and did you have a favourite player? Yeah, I watch, when I watch Milan, I watch Ronaldinho because of his skills, the way he plays so easy, and I love, I love watching him. It make me enjoy the game. Yeah, he was, he was a joy, and and you actually scored against Milan recently, like two months ago, three months ago. Uh, how was it? How was it like scoring against a team that you, you know, that you loved as a kid? Yeah, it was a, it was a great feeling in a very big stadium. Big history like San Siro, so I was feeling so great, great, amazing. Mm. Was it was it a handball or not? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. And as a left back, which 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 left backs did you admire growing up and like try to model your game on? Yeah, growing up, I watched a lot of videos of Marcelo of Real Madrid because he was one of the best best left back in the world. So I. I love to watch him. Now, I have to say, I don't watch many players like before, but also, obviously in my league there is Terran Randet, he's a great left back. So I see the way he plays. And yeah, I will look at him. Who do you think is the best left back in the world now? In the world, uh, I have to say one of one from Mendy or Terran Randet. Mendy or Terran 
So um, let's uh, look a little bit to the future. And just like Carlo, I think you've got a huge uh, career ahead of you. Um, what what are your ambitions for the future? Um, do you do you want to play for example? I mean, for example, do you want to play in the Champions League? Maybe even win it? Yeah, of course. Now I'm of course I'm with Udinese. I I I hope to do my best in this team. And for the future, I don't know. Of course, winning the Champions League is a big dream, and I hope I can reach it. Um, you've been speaking of you know the future. You've been getting quite a lot of interest from big clubs. Uh, there's been lots of reports linking you to Juve, Napoli, Atalanta. I mean, when you hear these clubs being mentioned in you, you know that you're being linked to these clubs, how do you react to that kind of interest? Yeah, of course, it's a good. Uh, you feel good because you you know you're doing well. But of course, I'm focused into the areas, so I don't I don't list in a lot of this these voices, but I'm totally focused with this team. So, what would you say are your three best qualities as a player? Qualities, I I love to attack. I love to attack. I have a good uh, good physique, so I attack with my physique. And also with my feet, I like to dribble, skill, a small pace. And yeah, I think these are one of my best qualities. In what areas of your game do you think you need to improve? Yeah, almost almost everywhere, to be honest. But uh, more in the to be focused during the ninety minutes, all the game in defending, following the man one one when they do one two, a lot of things. But these are the most important. Do, do, do you prefer playing as a left back or as a mezzala? Because I've seen you, I watched you for the Italy youth teams, and you played. Like the under seventeens, you definitely. I remember you playing as a mezzala on the left centre midfield. What do you prefer? Do you prefer left back or or midfield? Yeah, no, I prefer left back because I grew up playing left back, so I I can respect myself better playing left back. But uh, at the end, when the coach asks me to play in the midfield or anywhere, I try to give my best also in that position. But mm. I prefer left. Okay, great. Um, so let's talk about national team. You, you were born in Italy to Nigerian parents and you've played for the Italy youth teams. Do you see your international senior future with Italy or with Nigeria? Yeah, I was born in Italy, so I feel more more Italian. I grew up playing with all the young team of Italy, so I want to continue with Italy. I hope to reach the first team and mm. uh, win more teams possible. Yeah, I'm sure you will. And, and you say you want to reach the first team. Roberto Mancini, he values young players. He's given a lot of young players chances. Um, you know, Zaniolo is a good example. He made his Italy debut before he even played for, for his club. Um, so is it your ambition to maybe break into the Italy squad like quite soon, maybe before Euro 2024? Is that an ambition of yours? Yes, of course, it's an ambition because I... I I just have to give more. I have to do my best every game, so I can I can show him my quality. And yeah, it's a big ambition, but I hope to be able to reach it. Mm. And just a question from our from our Nigerian listeners: Have you ever been to Nigeria? And and who is your favorite Nigerian footballer ever? Yeah, I've been in Nigeria, but I was very small. I was like two years, so I don't remember much. But I've been there. And my favorite player, of course, is Okocha because he's yeah. a big legend in Nigeria. So I think every Nigerian player know him, and he's my he's the, my idol, the big, big legend. Yeah, he was a legend. I loved him as well. Um, okay, so I want to ask you. I'm not sure if you know, but you're the only Italian teenager this season who is a regular starter for their club in Serie A, and. You know, there's been a big debate in Italy since Italy didn't qualify for the World Cup about youngsters not getting enough of a chance in Serie A. Um, you know, Serie A has one of the lowest numbers of, of Italian teenagers getting a chance. Um, so do you think that Italian football needs to, needs to change so that, you know, talented youngsters get more opportunities? Yeah, of course, I think they need to give more possibilities to young players to show their quality, to enjoy the game. And I hope we change, change soon because we need, uh, we need, as you say, we are one of the lowest league to put young players. So I need we, this, maybe need to change a little bit. Mm. 
Mm, okay. And um, you've been part of some some very successful Italy youth teams in, in recent years. You got to the final of the under-17 Euros in 2019, the, the quarterfinals of the World Cup, uh, the under-17s as well. I mean, what other youngsters that you played with, like, impressed you? And would you say, oh, these guys have got great careers ahead? I mean, what? give us some hope for, for other youngsters <laughs> to, to, to come through. <laughs> yeah, that you played with, with the, with the youth teams, or any youngsters that you play with, the Italians, that, you know, give us some hope that, oh, yeah, Italy have got these players coming through. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have got uh, strikers like Colombo, Esposito. They play very well. Also, Pirola, defender. There are a lot of very good players. And uh, I think they need just more space. But they are very good, very good players. Hmm. Just need opportunities. OK, um, just before we finish off with a game, um, away from football, what other hobbies do you have? Things that you like to do away from the pitch? Yeah, well, uh, out of football, I, of course, I play video games. I play NBA. I love NBA. I like to play basketball as well. I I don't go out so much. I stay home with my friends, some friends with my family. But yeah, these are my hobbies. I play basketball and play video games. Mm. Who's, your, who's your favorite NBA team and who's your favorite NBA player? Yeah, I watch, I watch just Lakers. Lakers and uh, LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. I play just Le- the Lakers every game. Legend. And what's your favorite video game? What's your, FIFA? FIFA, I stopped playing FIFA because I don't, I don't like anymore the way it's built. So I stopped playing FIFA. Right. I play NBA or Call of Duty, but more NBA. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, and Netflix. Do you watch Netflix and do you have a favorite show on Netflix? Yeah, I watch Netflix when I'm like in the night, when I want to go to bed, I watch Netflix to chill a little bit. My favorite show, I watched, uh, I have to say, maybe Casa di Carta. Ah, Casa di Carta. The, House, of, uh, House of Cards. Oh, House of Cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah House of Cards. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, okay, final, final one. If you could pick uh, five people, dead or alive, to come to your party, you're going to have a party at your house. Who would you, who would you invite to your party? Uh, of course, uh, Marcelo, because I grew up with watching him. Ronaldinho. Messi, because the best player in the world. Uh, also, LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> yeah. LeBron James. And uh, uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel oh. Washington. Okay, he's a good actor. He's a good actor. Cool. Just before we let you go, uh, we play a rapid fire game with all our guests, and it's pretty. It's pretty much like this. I give you two or three options, and you choose. You choose one, and you don't. You can give an explanation if you want, but you can also not give one if you don't want. Okay. Okay. So the first one, I think you kind of already asked it, but I have to ask it explicitly. Everyone in the world has has been asked this: Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Lionel Messi. Teo Hernandez or Marcelo? Marcelo. <laughs> Who's the best striker in the Serie A? Victor Osimhen, Dusan Vlaovic or Ciro Immobile? Uh, or Beto? <laughs> <laughs> the best striker, I would say, maybe Vlaovic. Maybe mm. Vlaovic. Because it's, I think it's, you have all of, like, you have, it's fast, you have physique, and he can finish well as well. So I think for his age, he's very good, very good striker. Who do you think will win the Scudetto? Milan, Inter, or Napoli? Milan. And finally, the question we ask all our, our, our guests, which is the most divisive one, pineapple on pizza, food heaven or food hell? <laughs> agreed agreed yeah, agreed 100 percent. it's not nice at all right uh destiny thank you so much for coming on to the show we wish you all the best for the future and we we believe in you and we think you're going to the top thank you very much we do. We do. Good and, luck. and everyone else thank you everyone for listening until next week uh ciao ciao